We're going to take a look at a fairly new static site generator called Publi. Publi. What makes this different from other popular static site generators is it's easy to install. In fact, you just download it and open it up on your desktop. And it also has a user interface. So it makes it much easier for non techies to use a static site generator where you will not have to use the command line or terminal. Okay, once you go to the getpubli.com website, scroll down to the bottom of the page and we see the tab download publi. So click in it and the zip file will download into your computer. Run, excuse me, it takes you to the official CDN where you have to select what platform you are using on your computer. Then you can select that particular download for installation. As you can see, it has downloaded in my downloads file. So I'm going to install Publi on my computer now. Once installation has been completed a icon should be posted onto your desktop to launch the app okay, after installation of publi on your computer open the icon on your desktop create your first website give the name then type in the author's name for the posts create website now it opens up with the GUI, the graphic user interface, which no other site generator has. So that's why Publi is great for non-techies to use. Okay, let's try migrating our posts from WordPress to Publi. So what you do is you go into your WordPress dashboard under Tools. Hit export. Now you're going to select what you want to move. Post pages. I'm going to click download export file and your XML file will be downloaded, which you will use to import into Publi. -E. As you see, the XML file has been downloaded into your download folder. Now save it because you're going to use it in a few seconds now. After the XML file has been downloaded, go back to Publi -E dashboard. Now go all the way down to Tools. As you can see, there are no posts available at this moment. So we open Tools and scroll all the way down to WP Importer. Publi -E was designed to import WordPress, so it's very simple to do. Okay, let's look for the file in our downloads folder, and there it is. So let's select the file. As you can see, Importer will identify what you have. Number of posts, number of images, pages, etc. So you can look it over if you see if you agree with everything, the tags, even assigning the author's name if that's what you want and accepting the formatting with the paragraph tags and the break tags. So if you agree, just hit import. And all the files will be import into Publi. -E. Now this may take a while depending on how many files you have. So I'm going to pause the video and restart once everything has been imported. As we can see, okay, we loaded everything. So we can take a look if you want to regenerate your thumbnails for the theme that you have selected. Hit OK, which you want to do. Then let's go back to the post pages and see what we have. And there we go, all the posts that were 
that was migrated from WordPress is now loaded into Publii. Let's take a look at one of the posts. And this is a view of the editor that you have. As you can see, it's a full graphic UI, so very easy to use. As you can see, the image is also posted. As you scroll through the editor, and to preview, preview the post, preview the post, which will send it to your browser, you can see your post. But as you notice, which I just noticed, the images are not displayed in the browser. So I'm going to have to take a look at why this is. Okay, so let me pause the video once again. To make sure I save it and take another look at it. Let me pause the video and check the forums and see why the images are not being displayed. I'll be back. In checking and reading the forums for Publii, it was suggested that I install the newest or latest version of the software and on this page where I was linked to you can download the pre-release 0.36 version uh, for your reinstallation I currently have 0.35 so as I downloaded and reinstalled Publii. Let's go back to our posts and let's take a look at that same blog. And here it is. Looks okay in the editor. Let's go into the uh, browser to pre preview the post. And there it is. The images are now posted on the blog. Oh, by the way, I also refreshed the history, cleared the history and cache for the Chrome browser. So, we are back in business. All the information for the post is as it should be. So, in this first video, I demonstrated how I installed Publii on your computer, which was very easy to do and also how to migrate your WordPress post and pages to Publii in a quick, simple manner. So in my next video, we'll go through how you use Publii in creating posts and pages for your static website. <laughs>